Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Rainamo's DIY and It Designs. And today is day 12 of our Month of Love series. And today I wanted to share with you the family love basket that I wanted to create on this 12th day of February. So let's just dive right on in. I have picked up a couple of things, obviously, that are along the red theme for the uh, the 12th. So I'm starting off with this thing of protein powder that my Boo Bear particularly really enjoys. I just picked it because it was red. Um, and I know that he's liked this brand before. So I'm just gonna place that here in the center of the basket. Next, uh, a lot of things I picked up at Walgreens. Uh, and obviously the Dollar Tree to help kind of keep expenses down. Uh, since I knew I was going to do this basket a little bit differently because the focus on it is family love for us. So having said that, I picked up this chocolate fudge at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen it before. I hope that it's quite tasty. So I'm going to place that here in the basket. And then also at the Dollar Tree, I saw this cute little... Um, heart and it obviously it says happy valentine's day but like i told you we love each other every day of the year so it's not one particular day and that's another reason why i'm focused on this being a family basket instead of this just being like a basket for lovers or for valentines because you know we love each other so Having said that, I just thought that this box was really cute. It just caught my eye. And so what I'm going to actually do is Walgreens was having a really great sale on some of their candy, their nice candy. So I got a lot of these bags for like 69 cents, 49 cents, 59 cents. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and use these in my tutorial. And um, these are sour cherry. And then I picked up the French burnt peanuts. And then there are strawberry, strawberry bonbons, which these would actually be really good to place in here because they're individually wrapped. So I think instead of the cherry sours that I'm going to go ahead and place the strawberry bonbons in here and um, just open these up and place them in here. Excuse me while I put this in the trash can. And then just close this little box up. And of course you can tape it closed if you like, but I'm just gonna set that here. And then I bought individual candies for my son, individual candies for my daughter, candies for him, candies for myself. And so I picked up these gummy sharks for my son. I'm just gonna place those here. I got him and his sister each a taffy rope, so I'm going to put one taffy rope on one side of the basket and the other taffy rope on the other side. Lollipops, stick those in there, and each of them got a bag of the um, sour gold bears. It says sour gold bears, but as you can see, there's multiple different colors in here. So I'm going to put this in here, and I'm actually going to put it behind the sharks because it's taller. I'm going to move the rope towards the front. Then let's see, which bag is this one? I think this one is baby girl's bag. Yes, it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for her and I'll do it hers on this side. So she'll have her sours and then I got her the lollipops as well and the cherry sours. I got some of those for her. I hope she likes those. She likes sour candies and the taffy rope. Now she loves blue, so I know she's going to like the color of this. Now I just hope that she enjoys the taste of it. And let's see. I believe this bag was for him. Yes. So obviously, as you know, my Boo Bear is into health and fitness, but he has a monstrous sweet tooth. He loves baked goods. Uh... 
sometimes to a flaw, but you know, his, his metabolism so high, he doesn't have to worry about it. I'm afraid just touching this candy, I'm going to put on 10 pounds. But anyway, he's from New York, so I figured he'll probably like saltwater taffy, so I picked that up for him. And, you know, he and I are both kids of the 80s. Uh, we're born in the 70s. But when we were little, I know at least for me, Pop Rocks, that was like the latest craze. So I picked up Pop Rocks hoping that, you know, it'll be nostalgic for him because it is very nostalgic for me. So they have three packets of the pop candy here. And then this is the gum. I don't remember the gum growing up, but I definitely remember the candies. So I'm going to place this in here like this on either side. And then this is here. Okay. And so next... Obviously, at the Dollar Tree, I picked up the candies that they have there. Like I told you about the fudge already. But they had some Almond Roca, which is a favorite of mine. Some Cherry Cordials, which I know he enjoys because he loves chocolate. And, you know, we grew up with Cherry Cordials. Then they had these Chocolate Truffles. So I'm gonna place, uh oh, I'm gonna place the chocolate truffles here and the cherry cordials there. And a couple more of his favorite and my favorite, which are the almond roca and the the truffles, the, the cordials. So I'm gonna place this here in the center. And then I'll put the almond rocas here. Okay. Now, I told you all about these candles. And my boo bear, he happens to love candles. He burns them all the time. So this one's rose scented, and I believe this one's gardenia. You guys saw me do the tutorial with um, the creating of a candle using this particular candle. And I don't know if you noticed, but the chandelier... Uh, bud face that I made these are the plates that I use so this was a double uh, use object that we found from the Dollar Tree so I'm just going to place these candles here towards the back because there's a little bit of space here And then at the Dollar Tree, I found these cute little straws. Uh, there's six straws, but I'm just going to place them in here because I think that they're super cute. So I'm just going to place those here. It's also going to give the center of our basket of love a little bit of height. And then just for some extra added red, I'm going to use some of these red picks. Just place sporadically throughout. take a look and see how that looks I think that's cute place that like that now you can always use some double-sided tape if you want things like here would be a good area to put it on the back of here to adhere it to the almond roker so that it doesn't move around but this basket's being created for my house in my house so we're just gonna leave it at that and then this is a balloon that my boo bear got for me, oh, like too many years ago for my, me to think of, but it has never deflated. And I don't know how it's never deflated, but it's never deflated. So I'm going to actually uh, repurpose this into this particular arrangement, and I'm just going to set it here just to give it a little extra flair. And I really do think that this is cute as can be. It's definitely useful and functional. You can use all these glitter hearts and heart stickers and foam hearts. They even have uh, 
heart doilies from the Dollar Tree. You can use a myriad of these things in the project that you want to create for your loved one. And you don't have to go overboard with picking up lots of things like I did. However, like I told you, all that candy that came from Walgreens was all like 49 cents, 59 cents, or 69 cents. Then there were the few pieces that did come from the Dollar Tree, but I didn't buy them all at once. As soon as I saw them in the store, I picked them up knowing that this was something that I would want to do to create a tutorial for you guys. So I picked these things up a little bit at a time in case you want to do something large like this. The basket came from the Dollar Tree, and I think I got this at, from the Dollar Tree a couple of months ago. Um, and I got it for storage, but I knew, okay, February is coming up. Red is definitely the theme color for that month, so let me just pick up a couple extra of these. Um, and I actually use these to store all my ribbons, my craft ribbons in, so it's a really good sturdy basket. And obviously at the Dollar Tree they have these basket bags and there's two in a pack. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and insert this basket into this bag um, and hope that it fits. And then when I come back I'll show you how it looks. Okay everyone, here is the final reveal. We've got a nice little family gift basket for any day of the month. But more than likely, people will give it on Valentine's Day, which is fine if that's your orientation. But I just thought this was a wonderful thing to do for a family. Doesn't matter when you do it for the family. You, a person could do it every month for the family if they wanted to have just a nice little basket of goodies and treats of things that they use and possibly run out of in the month. Doesn't have to be sweet treats. It could be something, you know, that would actually have some substantial dietary um, need, uh, like the protein powder, vitamins, you know, energy drinks for um, maybe somebody who has a hard time or they're trying to get off a of coffee. So you give them energy drinks to kind of help wake them up since they need that caffeine but anyway this is just a little sampling of an idea of something that you could do for a special loved one or in my case for the family it's just a little basket full of goodies so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give us a thumbs up subscribe comment down below I really love write, reading and uh, responding to all of the comments that um, I receive um, I really do really enjoy reading the comments. So anyway, on that note, have a wonderful evening. Bye, everybody.